Welcome to Infinity's Shaman Circle. I have created a sacred space dedicated to you, your body and soul, and our spirit tribe connections. Here, Soul Family Journeys Together. Hello there, love. Welcome to Infinity's Shaman Circle Podcast. I am Infinity, and this is episode number six for the energetic body map for the soul quest program this is our fifth map we just finished up the uh physical body map and uh this map um is all about energy obviously (laughs) the energetic body so let's just break it down from the top how much energy do you have how how strong is your energy how energetic are you how much life force is going on with you how tired are you how often are you really tired do you yawn all day long (laughs) um do you can you go 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 do you have to take uppers to, to or as some type of stimulant to get going uh and all that kind of stuff those are the things that we can start talking about here when we're talking about the energetic body just basic when it comes to that this is also how we feel about um energy how we connect to energy around us and in our body how um corded we are to things how sensitive we are to energy um and the energy of others and all that good stuff. Um, this body is, is you know, the battery <laughs> of the system. Um, this is really, you know, how um, things get going in for you. Um, the strength of your energy uh, really relates to so much in how you operate in the world, how well you mentally process, emotionally process, how how um, physical you can be, uh, and all that. Um, so it's important when you're doing this map to really think about and watch yourself over the next week when you're doing this and or for however long you're doing this um, and really think about uh, paying attention to what how you're feeling energetically. <laughs> um, are you tense? Are you stressed? Are you relaxed? Are you peaceful? Um, are, is your body uh, feeling anything energetically that is it over overloaded energetically and a lot of us empaths and light workers especially right now myself I've been dealing with an overload of energy for um gosh really intensely well for years now <laughs> my whole life but um <laughs> But let's just break it down to closer times. Um, definitely uh, since December, we had a huge influx of energy. December 2022, we had a huge influx of energy. The 1331 gate came in and you can go to the website. Or, uh, <laughs> you can go to the website. I almost said my old website, Archangels Love. But go to my the website. It has been rebranded and renamed. It is Infinite Empath transfigurations.com i know that's really long so you can get there with infiniteempath.com or and with dashes in between the words too uh, but anyway um so now i lost my train of thought <laughs> damn it what was i talking about um, i talked about the way i almost said go to archangels live and then i got all tripped up about what i was telling you to go there for um Man, I hate it when this happens. Good Lord. Yeah, it's gone. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um Okay, so we're just gonna go off on a different in a different maybe it'll come back to me. God, I hate it when this happens. Okay, sorry about that. Um got all swept up into another thing. Uh, oh yes, 1331. Good Lord, thank you. So 13, I saw the numbers. <laughs> so 
1331, overloaded of energy. But we had a lot of, we had this huge wave of energy coming in with the 1331 gate. Again, you can go to medium.com. Um, and there's all, I'm going to have all the links in the description for you to get to. Um, but I highly suggest if you haven't yet, or, or, if it's been a while since you read that stuff, which most likely it has, that includes channelings from Michael, Gabriel, Metatron, Elio, which is also known as Jesus, plus uh, one or two articles about it. It was big time. It set off in motion everything that we're doing now. But anyway, um, as empaths and light workers, especially conscious ones, um, elevated ones, evolving ones, ones that are working on ourselves, healing, ascending, being um, serious about our, ourselves, our bodies, our spirituality, connecting uh, to our guides and guardians, to Mother, Father, God, to Gaia, to, you know, creation. If we're awoken spiritually, we will be downloading um, energy, in so many different ways um, through all of our bodies, but our energetic body is, along with our spiritual body, obviously those are connected, but our energetic body is literally, um, you know, the cables, um, if you think about electricity and how energy works, what comes in through our energetic body and all of that for us to transmute, to um, process. It's all about processing energy when we're on the spiritually awakening and evolving path, the ascension path. And especially if you're in this program, you're going to be, and I'm sure you have already experienced uh, doing this program, um, all sorts of different shifts energetically, um, feeling your body differently and stuff, especially after the physical body map and maybe what that brought up for you as well. But starting with the spiritual body, we opened things up for, for us to be able to connect and especially those spirit walks that are, can, that are with these, uh, that is with this program are just on another level, a hundred percent. So that's engaging our energetic body as well all along the way. But here we are focusing in on that energy and the energetic body and how we process it. So um, something, a huge thing, huge, huge, huge thing to uh really be conscious of to work with ourselves in a way so we can keep the gates open so you have to think about it in terms of um like space space in the body for the energy that you have going on through your neurological system and how it makes everything happen in your body everything from your thoughts to your digestion um your heart beating the blood moving through your body etc etc all of this is obviously through the energetic body moving everything around your heart center your heart is the most powerful organ in your body electrically speaking um, it puts off energy that can go really, really far, especially when we're really working with that energy. Um, they've done studies where the energetic field of your heart energy can go out up to 10, I think it's 10 feet. Um, so we're able to bring in process and output a shit ton of energy take it from me <laughs> i work with so much energy bringing it in pu putting it out into the world and the universe working with my clients and their bodies etc cetera, etc cetera, everything the amount of energy that we're able to um um, take in process and move through our body channel in different ways is really truly infinite and uh, just think about the orgasm um we really concentrate on sex sex and energy of that and how we feel sexually and with our bodies and connecting in that way in the physical body map but 
the energy of the orgasm is really really magical and potent and um that's also something to consider here as well is when we get into thinking about our energy and our energy body how we regulate that how we feel energetically um and how that that how we can work with that um in that in that way i mean the orgasm's power is equal or more than actually an atomic bomb the explosion of energy that happens during an orgasm and that's why it feels so effing good to have an orgasm because there's this con the energy gets concentrated and then eventually boom explodes and if you're a lucky ducky you could do that again and again and again um and uh that's always fun too but thinking about that and what what does that create what does it what does the orgasm create hey sorry cats um what that creates is life that's massive so that's a thing also to consider here as you go through the map so there are going to be some questions about your how energy feels with you and your body i'm um, di directly related to sex and orgasms and how you feel energetically and all of that um food how you feel energetically with food depending on what you eat what you know really brings that life force up what dips that life force the types of food that you're eating what you're consuming um what you're consuming on every level um through your eyes through your ears through your body just being an environment how the different environments affect you uh this is a big 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 one this one is so i mean all the all of them are big and important i mean really <laughs> but i think um when it comes to kind of assessing our bodies and doing these maps i was thinking about it earlier as i was like starting to get into this this new feel with this with this map is okay gilbert can you stop that please so sorry uh <laughs> seriously all right i'm gonna do my best to ignore him please i'm so sorry bear with me here i don't know what his deal is okay so anyway um all of them are big 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 every 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 body every map it's all it's important and big but when it comes to the energetic body Oh, like I said, you know, it's our fuel, it's the it, it's our gas, it's the battery, the quality of the gas, the amount of the juice in the battery really dictates everything. Um at least on a physical level. Now the spiritual body has its own type of energy, etheric energy, more auric energy that works with the energetic body of course but when we're talking about how the energy plays out in our fit like with the physical body and how we feel physically in relation to our energy um uh, how we how the the nature of our health um our biological age versus our energetic age is and can be two very different things in either direction we can be older and have a very younger energetic age and vice versa and uh really the the state of your health is really dictated by your life force the quality of your life force so the 
the deal here is, and the, uh, what's it called? The uh, kind of tagline for this body is, let me take a look here because I'm spacing. Oh my goodness. I keep moving around. Nope, not there. Here it is. Good Lord. Um, how do I maximize my energetic power? So each uh, map, there's the tagline. And for the energetic body, how do I maximize my energetic power? Why would you want to maximize your energetic power? Well, like I'm saying, the higher the vibe, the higher the frequency, the maximize of energetic power you have, the more life force you have, you stop aging as rapidly, you're more creative, you're, um, you're happier, you, uh, things are work, working well. So if you think about somebody who is ill, chronically has issues um, with illness in some way, they're going to be tired. They have chronic fatigue, um, pain is very, very much uses up your life force it drains that battery so when things aren't working right in your in your body your energetic body is is having to take care of so much there so um and rework itself in ways to keep things working as properly as possible but this is why things start to break down this is why we start to have real serious issues with ourselves this is why we have autoimmune diseases there's an energetic problem going on there where the the wires are crossed and um there's an overload of negative energy that the body is having to sustain and the positive energy getting getting over into into abundant energy instead of always being in a deficit is huge it's such a big deal so think about that. Think about who you know that has physical, chronic illnesses, diseases, conditions, um, and, and really kind of think about their energy. Think about when you think about them, when, you, when you're talking to them, when you're around them, how well, how much energy they have. They're always tired. Um, you know, it affects them. So think, and yourself too, obviously. Think about, so it's sometimes easier to look out at first and then turn that in. Um, but, but again, thinking about the condition of your energy, how high vibe, how low vibe, where, where are you with that? Of course, this is connected to your emotional body, your mental body as well. Um, if you're stressing, if you're anxious, if you're upset, if you're angry, if you've got all this stuff going on, this is going to degrade your life force. Your energetic body is going to other places then to keep you healthy and things running right. So our body will break down in ways that, and when I say break down, I mean not work properly. So you think of a machine that starts acting up, what's the problem? Um, you think about your car. A lot of times, a lot of times problems with cars are electrical. And then your car runs like shit because you've got, or won't, won't run at all because there's electrical problems. Sometimes it starts, sometimes it doesn't. It, you know, does all this weird stuff. Um, and those are energetic components. Um, and a side note here, just like, and this goes for pretty much any machine that requires power and electricity, those get clogged up with energy too, negative energy. Think about it. Everything processes positive and negative energy. It's just the way it works. And machines from your phone to your computer to your car to your blender to your washing machine, I mean, anything that takes power to run is processing both negative and positive. It's, it's, it's uh, magnetizing. It's, it's, it's storing these energies and so um what i found like i said a side note here um it's happened a couple times not a lot but a couple times since i got into this new phase of my life where i was really working with energy in all sorts of ways with electronics i've done things with clearing energy out of laptops 
and making them work like they haven't before or way better and they didn't take any type of of like actual replacement of parts or anything like that I just got into the energy of the laptop cleared it and then it was fine I've also done that with a vehicle or two where I have or there's a, a problem with it's like um uh we don't know if it's the batteries the alternator is that the spark plugs is there a clog with the um with the gas system with the fuel pumps and shit like that what's the problem and i've had there's been a couple times with um, one with the neighbor one with a friend where um they couldn't figure it out or they knew what it was and they just hadn't fixed it yet or whatever and i was like let me just see because i've had experience with this and I went to the vehicle and I did a thing and then it was cleared out and it was fine. And people trip shit on that big time. <laughs> I'm a healer in all sorts of ways. So it doesn't matter what, what kind of what kind of thing. <laughs> um, but anyway, just to illustrate that you are a machine as well is what my point is. Not to just, you know, pat myself on the back and say, here, this is what I can do. But to illustrate how it works. Think of yourself as a machine. When I started thinking of myself as a machine and I started seeing everybody else as a machine with all these working parts and the electrical system and everything that works with it, the energy, your chakras are your energy centers that govern everything. When they get clogged up, when they get blocked, things start going haywire. And then we go in, we we clear, we heal on all different levels. Things work the way they're supposed to. So uh, there is just so many different ways to look at this. And I want you to think about it in all of these ways. Think about fuel, energy, battery. <laughs> Think about the electrical system. Think about how you feel energetically in different ways. And um, and if you've been more conscious or unconscious when it comes to your energetic body and what makes it positive and what makes it negative. And, um, and really getting into the maybe chronic issues that you may have when it comes to your energetic body and through this we'll have a map of what's going on with all of that so you can have a jumping off place again just like with all the other maps we're going to put them all together at the end but this is going to offer a lot of insight when it comes to your energy how conscious or unconscious you are about it um, the health of it, where it's positive or negative, and what those things are in your life, in your environment that you're connected to that affect it in these ways. Okay, so um, with that all said, uh, we are going to, I think that's about it when it comes to what I'm supposed to kind of prepare you for here, what you're supposed to think about when it comes to the energetic body, just how important it is to get a really good connection and understanding and relationship with your energetic body. Uh, because once again, the health of your energetic body is going to dictate everything when it comes to how you process yourself experiences life your ascension your connections with your guides and guardians where your frequency is stationed at and then wherever it is it can always be loved uh, elevated and um with every Okay, we got some cat thing going on. I'm going to see if they're going to work it out. Huh. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to let it go. <laughs> Sorry about all this cat stuff, you guys. Good lord. Um so anyhow, uh the health of your energetic body dictating everything. Paying attention to it, listening to it, where you're at, where your station is with your energetic body, really getting 
into that frame of mind. Of course, your energetic body is so inextricably tied to your physical body, of course. But this is a different, looking at it through a different lens. Okay, so next up, we're going to do the Oracle. But I am going to stop this here because there is some drama going on in my bedroom with my cats. I'm going to go check that out and I will be back. Okay, loves, I'm back. So sorry about all that cat drama. Um, so while I was gone, I was guided to our Oracle deck that we're going to be getting card a card from for the energetic body, which um, comes to you by, via the alchemy. Um, what is this? The Wild Unknown Alchemy deck. Um, I absolutely love this deck. Um, goes along with the Archetypes deck. But we're just... Oh, look at that. <laughs> um, we are guided... Oh, and if you are listening to this uh, podcast and you didn't read the description, I always mean to say this in the beginning, but I forget... Um, you can watch this podcast on YouTube. Again, uh, there are links in the description to go to my YouTube page to watch this podcast. Uh, and all of the podcasts. Okay, so. And that is on my YouTube channel that is also changed to Infinite Empath Transfigurations. Um, I'm going to do a separate podcast. I just have not had time because I've been doing all this rebranding and editing my website. Um, uh, there's just, it's been extremely busy. I've been working a lot on so much. Um, and so there's a lot to do with all of this stuff. But anyhow, um, go check out the new website. If you haven't been there yet, check it out. If you have been there, but it's been a while. Um, oh, now that cat wants back in. Hold on a second. Okay, Blackie, you're not hiding us today at all, are you? Get back into the bedroom. You guys are going to have to get along in here. Okay, so, um, you'd think it was a full moon or something. <laughs> it's not. Okay, so things over a little bit here I'm gonna get this card they're just really big and they can be a little bit of a bitch to, to shuffle but I'm gonna shuffle them I am gonna clear them really quick with some sage okay Oh, I love sage. I got sage, palo sandal, palo sandals, palo, palo santo, and I'm going to actually add a little bit of copal in there right now. This is a big piece of copal. This is a white copal resin, really great for clearing energies, puts off a really awesome smoke, um, really beautiful smell and it helps bring in speaking of energy positive energy just like palo santo does um and it is just really really lovely uh the other thing to to get white copal go to and so much more tons of plant medicine uh for visionsmarket.com i'm an ambassador use the code 11 magical 11 all caps to get 10 percent off of all of your orders anytime I highly, highly, highly recommend that uh, that website. They work directly with the tribes in South America. Um, they pay them. Um, they share fifty percent of profits with them, which is really amazing. Um, they're not exploited. They're they work in cooperation. It's just really, really amazing. So go check it out for visionsmarket.com. I'm gonna put the link in the description as well. Jimmy's cards fell. Okay. So I got a huge bag of copal, of white copal. It's going to last me forever uh, from there. Um, they just have so much. So, so, so much. I have amazing Palo Santo from different areas in South America. 
just really awesome tinctures and balms and all sorts of good stuff. Uh, ceremonial cacao. I'm going to be doing a podcast soon about plant medicine, getting into a bunch of stuff. So stay tuned for that. Okay. So whew, here we go. All right. So connecting with our guides and our guardians, Mother Gaia, Mother, Father, God, all of our guides and guardians, of course, and of course, our bodies to get the message for our energetic body and for messages for this map as we begin it. So let's do this. Okay. turn the video down try to anyway if it will let me um and i'm gonna split these up this time that's how i'm being guided to do it so i'm gonna split these no i'm gonna do that differently do this again so this is how I do this I, this is exclusively how I did my readings for a long time I started shuffling again but we're back to this which is splitting 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 picking sides so I picked the, the left I'm gonna pick the left again split again and just keep going And I'm going to go with the right and then with the right again. And then we're going to open this up since we have a small amount of cards here. We have four only. And we're going to go with that first card right here. And we got, oh, let's bring this back up here a little bit more. Okay. So we got uh, mortification, mortification. Look at this. So let's grab the book. Mortification. Ooh, shoot. We had a couple of extra. Oh, this is from another reading. Wow, we didn't need those cards, apparently. Uh, <laughs> we got mortification. If that ever happens to you, just go with the card you already have. Don't start over. It Clearly, it wasn't a big deal. Okay, so I have... Um, it has happened to me several times where I've not gotten back to... Um, cards and I've left them in the guidebook and I've done reading. It's like, oops, there's cards in there. Not often, but it happens. Okay. Oops, that's not it. I just had it. Good Lord. Um, where the, there it is. Okay. So, um, This is card number 68 on page 227. Um, decay, death, decomposition. Okay. Mortific, mortif, facto, 
Factio, mortifactio, or mortification, is the great alchemical operation of darkness. What was once composed now decomposes. What was once presentable is now despicable. This stage cannot be avoided. The underworld has taken us into the dark interior of its belly, and here we reside until spring. Through the natural process of decay, we descend into depths we didn't know existed. The alchemist soon finds mortifactio is a stage of regeneration and sacred power. There it is. Where the soil is fertile and rich, offering nourishment for tomorrow. This stage cannot be rushed. The darkness must have time to do its work to dismantle and loosen, to free us up from old scripts and stories as we learn to surrender to this great operation. The earth churns and wisdom whispers in the dark. She envelops us with grace and the promise of what's to come. Oh my God, I love it. De go deeper, read the Egyptian story of Osiris and to ponder, is there anything that does not end? Halloween is a global celebration of mortifactio and the underworld and the under underworld. If this card has got you down, flip the script. There is freedom and expression in every operation, most definitely. And the mortifactio card relates to the death card in the tarot and the underworld card in the archetypes deck. Deck. It is a universal symbol, not to be taken personally. Yeah, not to be taken personally. This is the process of regeneration, of power. Um, I love this. Dismantle and loosen to free us from old scripts and stories. Most absolutely. This is so great. I'm so glad this is coming up because um, I didn't touch on it before. And this is definitely prompting me to go there. So this is about how the energetic body holds on to the negative energy. We talked about that before, but when it comes to um, the balancing, the healing energetically, it is a process of releasing what is ineffectually or effectually dead, dark energy. Um, so there's the light and the dark. There's the life force and, and the, the absence of that, which is the death, the darkness. And everything goes through this transition. We go through a rebirthing process again and again as we, as we transition from in so many different ways, you know. Um, <coughs> and this, this card really is pointing us at where the energy is stagnant, blocked, um, buried, um, and how it affects us every single moment of every single day and what the operation is to change that, to transmute it, to transform it as the alchemist that says it. It's, it's absolutely alchemy. Um, when it comes to uh, this process, this changing of the energy. So it talks about spring. We're actually in spring right now when I'm recording this. Uh, May 1st, it's actually May 1st, 2023 today. Um, and we are definitely um, getting into, you know, more springtime here. But anyway, um, The underworld has taken us into the dark interior of its belly, and here we reside until spring. So, um, thinking about, you know, the um, the process of of darkness and what that does for then the the growth. So translating that here into this map for ourselves for the energetic body map um is to allow yourself to 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 journey explore into yourself and and don't be afraid of 
of going towards the where the dark sparts are, where the shadow sparts are parts are, where the pain is. Um because this is where we're going to find what needs healing and eventually how to heal that. Remember, what we're doing now is recon. It's assessment. It's figuring out. It's getting more aware. It's listening to our bodies. It's, it's helping us to understand how we work so we can work better on all levels. So while things will definitely come up to how to improve your energetic body and how to have better energy and a higher life force, right away in the map, you know, probably for all of us on some level, like, oh, this, this, that will pop up for us. This is something to really be conscious of as you move forward and really, really think about what type of energy we're bringing in. Is it light? Is it high vibe life force, infinite life force energy? That's what our soul is. That's that's how we are alive. That's how we, you know, the health of us. Or are we bringing in more of this dark, like death type energy, this negative energy? The more negative energy we process from ourselves, our own thought processes and stories, our own fears, the, the uh, situations, the choices that we make or don't make, whether those are positive or negative, do we make them because, do we make choices, do we have experiences from a dark place or from a high vibe light place? And what is the fuel that's coming in? And then how that affects the body from that point forward. So once again, loves, as I lose the card, once again, um, this part right here, this stage cannot be rushed. The darkness must have time to do its work, to dismantle and loosen, to free us from old scripts and stories as we learn to surrender to this great operation. The earth churns and the wisdom whispers in the dark. <sighs> I love it. She envelops us with grace and the promise of what's to come. Oh, I cannot wait to do. I'm already getting excited for the spirit walk. Um, and, uh, this, this body, because it is really just the, again, the everything, our energy is everything. It's our power. It's our weakness. It's, it's, it's everything. So I hope that you're inspired. I hope that you understand where this card is coming from and that you're not, apprehensive or resistant to this message and these messages this is saying look we've got you you're getting into the stage where we're really turning over your energy maximizing it begins now because you're going to pay attention to to the processes to how your body feels thinking about it energetically so it can improve, so it can elevate, so it can be at a higher frequency um, for us. So I love this. So I hope you do too. Thank you so much for being here. Sorry again for all the cat interruptions. It happens. They're my children. Um, <laughs> and I have a lot of rescues and it gets a little tense in here sometimes. But um I want to thank you for being here. Those of you that are doing this maiden voyage of the Soul Quest program, I love you so much. Uh, again, you can do the Soul Quest program. You can start that at any time. Um, and there's details on the website, infiniteempathtransfigurations.com or Infinite Empath. Again, uh, links are in the description. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, week, month, of course, year. Uh, and I will see you again soon. Remember that we do our live review shows every Monday at 1.30 Pacific on YouTube. Uh, we're actually going to be doing the physical body map today. I'm very excited about that review. Uh, and any details about the, again, about the Soul Quest program, please check it out. Um, and I guess that's it for now, loves. Again, thanks so much for being here. Please, um, if you could do me a favor and go to Apple, go to Spotify, uh, even if you watch these on video, if you can please um, rate 
and uh, comment or review my podcast. I would really appreciate it. I'm brand new here with this podcast and uh, I really appreciate any positive energy that you could put forth to, to um, get the word out and have other people find me and uh, be connected to the work that I facilitate and the messages and all the good stuff. All right, guys, Mwah! I love you. I will see you soon. Bye for now. Hasta luego. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>